Uh, what's up guys? It's Borgzone Dog 10 here. Got a quick little tutorial for you. Uh, it's gonna be how to get the remote application to work on your iPod or iPhone, iPod Touch rather, and uh, iPhone 3G, 3GS, original. It doesn't really matter. Any version of the iPod Touch. Um, this will work on any software. I mean version, sorry, or software, whatever you want to call it. Uh, iPhone OS. Um, now. Some people have been having problems with, um, like, getting the actual application to pop up down here in your Devices tab. If that's true, then, uh, I have the simple fix for it. It's not that hard, but, um, what you're going to want to do if you don't even have this, is you're going to want to, uh, download it from iTunes or the App Store on your iPod or iPhone, and it's free, so don't worry about that. And then, uh, you're going to want to install it on your iPod, open it, and then click Add Library. Now, if you have everything set right, then it would open up a little thing down here, then you just click in and put the four digit code in. But if you don't, like I did, you're going to have to do two things, and they're really quick. One, you're going to want to go to Edit, right here in iTunes, and then going to go to Preferences, then the uh, Sharing tab, and then you're going to want to click the check mark. Okay, just the check mark right here that says Share My Library on My Local Network, and then make sure it says Share Entire Library, and then click OK. Now, if that if you if that if you can do that, then that's you're done. That's it. Then just try to um, rem open remote again on your iPod Touch or iPhone, and then uh, put the four-digit code in. You'll be able to control your iTunes from your iPod Touch or iPhone. But if that didn't work, if you have a little thing, you have to go back to Edit and then Preferences, and then you go back into Sharing. If it says like Bonjour was not active, okay, I have the simple fix for that. If you're on Windows, this is only for Windows guys, I don't know how to do this on Mac, I'm sorry. Okay, if you're on Windows, right click down here in the taskbar, okay? Go to Task Manager, let Task Manager open, then go to Services, right here the Services tab, and then make sure Bonjour Service is running. And if it's not, just right click on it and then click Start Service. But if that doesn't work, it's really easy guys, just go down here to Services, like this little bottom right, click uh, click a little click a little continue button, and then your last thing to do is just to minimize this. Go find Bonjour service, and then click start. Because I already have it running, it it'll say stop, but you just want to click start. It's gonna be right there. And then once you have it start uh, started, then you're gonna want to exit out, uh, exit out of iTunes. Um, Alex, uh, task manager. I'm gonna go back into iTunes. We'll let that open up real quick. Guys, sorry if this, uh, sorry if this video is kind of like laggy and stuff. It's just that my, uh, my computer's kind of overheated right now because it was like just on the floor and stuff, and it was did not have its uh, cooling fan on or whatever. I don't know, but all right. So what we're gonna want to do is go up to here to edit, and then preferences. Oh my god, my computer's being really slow, but that's okay because it's Vista and it's really good when it's not slow. Yeah, and you're gonna want to go to sharing. Oh my god. And then you're going to want to go to this check right here. And then make sure it's share entire library. Okay. Go on your app and then uh, sync it and you'll be good. Alright guys, hope this helps. Um, if this if you, di if you didn't follow, uh, we'll either... You can put a comment down in the comment section saying, Can you please help me in further detail? We can uh, PM some bits and I can uh, really help you out. Alright guys, see you later.